गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मिस वंदना पै इन टूडेज लेक्चर ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द कंटेंट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स रेमनरेशन इट्स मीनिंग एंड मेथड्स ऑफ रेमनरेशन सो लेट्स सी वॉट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स रेमनरेशन इज एंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट मेथड्स इन विच रेमनरेशन इज गिवन टू द एम्प्लॉयज ओके सी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट इन ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट इज कॉम्पेंसेशन और रेम्यूनरेशन राइट बिकॉज सी एनी एम्प्लॉय एनी एम्प्लॉय वाई ही अप्रोचेस योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और वाई ही एक्सेप्ट जॉब ऑफ योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ये इज द फाइनल रिवॉर्ड और द फाइनल रेम्यूनरेशन फॉर विच ही लुक्स इन टू और लुक्स फॉर योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट सेल्फ इज कॉल्ड एज रेम्यूनरेशन ओके देर फोर इट इज नेसेसरी टू फ्रेम साउंड पॉलिसीज एंड प्रैक्टिस फॉर एम्प्लॉय कॉम्पेंसेशन और रेम्यूनरेशन सो रेम्यूनरेशन इज द कॉम्पेंसेशन एंड एम्प्लॉय रिसीव्स इन रिटर्न फॉर हीज और हर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके सी वेन एवर वी कंसिडर रेम्यूनरेशन what happens into remuneration see remuneration is compensation or um remuneration is anything which you were you pay to your employee for his or her contribution towards your organization okay it must be in proportion to what services rendered by him or her to an organization okay so whenever we consider how much should be the remuneration or the amount of remuneration is it whether uh, paying so and so amount is good or it will be high or it will be low yes the payment of remuneration or the amount of remuneration it should always be dependent on okay whatsoever services that person that is the employee has provided towards your organization if the person is skilled one if that person is contributing more towards your organization surely you should be paying more if that person is not working properly or uh, they are working for a, a low time or less time then the remuneration should be that much itself so whenever we consider remuneration remuneration occupies an important place in the life of an employee okay therefore it must be adequate and fair his or her all the needs should be satisfied by this remuneration okay at least okay uh, the basic needs social needs safety needs at least these needs should be satisfied by the amount of remuneration which you are paying or contributing to that person okay employee remuneration is significant because of his contribution only the cost of production would be minimized okay remuneration or compensation is very important function of human resource management okay remuneration is concerned with needs motivation and rewards managers therefore analyze and interpret the needs of these employees okay so that reward can be individually designed to satisfy this needs okay it is very difficult for human resource management to fix wages and wage differential salaries acceptable to employees and their leaders okay wage or salary is very important from employees point of view because it contributes a major share of their income okay pay is a powerful motivational factor actually okay it provides a recognition a sense of accomplishment and social status to your employee so whenever the organization is thinking about remunerating the employee yes what should be the amount of remuneration or what is the fair remuneration yes the remuneration should be that much which will be helpful to satisfy the needs of your employee because okay if your employee is not satisfied then surely it will be reflected into the production activity of your organization and yes if the production activity is affected if the production activity is affected then surely the quality of the product whichever you will be producing through your organization it will be badly affected right okay now if 
the quality of your product is of affected then what will happen yes whenever you will be dispatching or whenever you will be distributing those goods into the market okay whenever the consumers they will consume your product okay they will use your product what will happen yes okay you you as you have provided inferior quality of product or a defective product the consumer will be dissatisfied and surely it will badly affect your organization's reputation right okay so whenever we consider all these things yes somewhere it has it has impact on your organization so what you should be doing is yes whenever you are deciding the wage or salary of any employee is it yes wages are paid to the laborers and salaries paid to the yes office bearers see last time in one of the lecture we have identified two types of employees or two types of workers who were those workers yes blue collar workers and white collar workers right okay blue collar workers who are they yes blue collar workers are those workers yes blue collar workers are those workers who contribute in the factory who actually work on the machineries and all okay such type of workers they are grouped under a title called as blue collar workers then who are white collar workers yes white collar workers are the office bearers okay those employees who work into the offices they are called as white collar workers okay so whenever we consider remuneration at the time okay formulation and administration of sound remuneration policy is must to attract excellent personnel and to retain them in an organization is the prime responsibility of any organization okay the basic purpose of sound remuneration is to establish and maintain an equitable wage and salary structure okay it also helps in maintaining union management relation sound okay which mostly spoils because of inadequate unsatisfactory wages and salaries okay see many of the time what are the reasons of strikes and lockouts is it what is the reason behind such type of strikes and lockout okay the main reason itself is conflict between the union and the management okay union which union yes trade union the union of your employees the union of the laborers okay and what is the issue okay why union management relations they are harmed or they become unsound what is the main reason yes somewhere it is inadequate unsatisfactory wages and salaries which the organization pays to the laborers or the employees okay so it also influences the survival and growth of the organization to the greatest extent okay so the remuneration is the largest component of cost of production okay it also influences the distribution of income consumption savings employment and prices it has a lot of importance in an underdeveloped economy okay where it becomes necessary to take measures for reduction of the concentration of income to overcome the inflationary trends etc thus the wage or salary policy of an organization should not become an evil to the economy okay so whenever we consider remuneration let's see what is the definition of remuneration okay remuneration may be defined as money received in the performance of work okay see money which is received in the performance of work means whenever you perform work whatever money do uh, whichever you receive from the organization it is called as remuneration okay means it includes see many kinds of benefits and services that organization provide to their employees 
money is a direct compensation known as wage gross pay benefits are indirect compensations okay it includes life insurance accident insurance health insurance employees contribution to retirement benefits such as gratuity pension pay for vacation pay for illness simply it includes payment for welfare and social security okay see whenever we consider the first thing that is your basic pay okay what is the basic pay basic pay includes yes or direct compensation includes wages and gross pay and all those excessive things that is uh, the different types of insurance schemes provided to the employee or the pension pay and all those things they are included in yes indirect compensation so whenever we think of remuneration remuneration in, involves direct compensation as well as indirect compensation okay a uh, wage see uh, we have identified the difference between wage and salary is it wages are paid to whom to the laborers for their service in production right and what about salary salary pays paid to the employee for working with you or providing service in the offices okay so the distinction between wage and salary does not seem to be valid in these days of human resource approach where all employees are treated as human resources and are viewed at par hence these two terms can be used as interchangeably okay nowadays so employee remuneration refers to the reward or compensation given to the employees for their work performances okay what is employee remuneration employee remuneration refers to the reward or the compensation given to the employees for their work performances okay whatsoever work is performed by them into your organization okay for that the reward or the compensation is given by the organization okay that compensation or reward it is included in employee remuneration okay now remuneration provides basic attraction to a employee to perform job efficiently and effectively okay see if you are paying them high pay or if you are paying them adequate pay okay it is a basic source or it is a basic point through which they get attracted towards your organization okay they perform good because you are giving them fair remuneration okay so whenever we consider remuneration what is the objective of remuneration yes to acquire qualified competent personnel is one of the objective of remuneration because see if you are paying fair wages or if you are paying fair salary okay good amount of salary then surely more talent will be attracted towards your organization then it helps to retain the present as well as existing employees see somewhere somewhere the payment or the salary whichever you pay to your or, or uh, sorry employees for working into or, your organization if the amount of the salary or wage if it is satisfying satisfying in the sense if um, whatsoever you pay to your employee if it is it satisfies that employee then surely is it his standard of living will be increased okay in turn if that person is satisfied surely he will be job satisfied and whenever job satisfaction is there surely it will be reflected into whatsoever he contributes towards your organization okay all that work which he does for your organization in that work itself okay in that work itself he will be contributing his 100% okay then to secure internal and external equity means similar wages for jobs within an organization okay external equity implies payment of similar wages to similar jobs in comparable organization okay see many of the time what happens okay your employee they do compare your organization with other organization okay now if you are paying high than other organization surely that uh, employee retains the job okay or else what happens they might switch over then to ensure desire or positive behavior of the employee see whenever we consider remuneration 
okay whenever we consider remuneration okay if you are paying fair remuneration surely your employee will be positively behaving into the work okay or into the organization also it enhances employee morale and motivation okay it boosts up employee morale and they will be motivated to work with you as well as they will give their 100% towards the work whichever you have assigned to them okay then it helps to control on labor and administrative cost okay see it helps to control labor and administrative cost means what okay if you are paying fair wages if you are paying fair salary surely okay what happens see your employee will not expect more from you if you are paying them good amount okay so for that remuneration good remuneration good amount of remuneration is must okay uh, then to satisfy employees to reduce the labor turnover grievances and frictions over pay inequalities okay see majority of the times what are the reasons of strikes and lockouts okay the main reason of strike itself is somewhere the employee is not satisfied with the pay which you are paying to them is it and somewhere this is reflected into the production also and many of the time what happens if you are not redressing the grievance related to pay what will happen these people and their union it will enter into strikes okay and repeatedly strikes if your organization faces then one day you are supposed to do lockdown or lockout okay and whenever it is lockout yes your production is completely stopped and you can't reach the targets which the market poses before you is it and somewhere due to this yes the expected profit you will never gain okay so for this you are supposed to focus on the remuneration which you are paying to your employee okay then methods of employee remuneration okay in today's lecture we will be studying only two methods or employee remuneration okay there are many methods but we will be studying only two methods okay see wage operates both on the circumference that is outer limit and also the center that is inner core of industrial relations the greatest bone of contention in the conflict between the labor and management is the problem of wages and salaries that is compensation or the price to be paid to labor services offered by the employees okay satisfactory and fair amount of compensation probably more than 60% labor disputes may be eliminated okay there are three fundamental methods of compensating the workers first one is time wage then it is piece wage then it is balanced wage okay first one time wage under time rate system remuneration is directly linked with the time spent or devoted by an employee on the job see it is based on the amount of time spent on the passage of time okay example hour day week or month okay wage is measured on the basis of unit of time that is per day per week or per month it is also called salary and it is fixed for the specific time okay that is the income is not variable and it does not depend at all on the performance or the amount of output given by the employee okay the chief this system are it is more widely used as it is very simple it facilitates payroll function computation of earnings is quite easy it provides guaranteed and secured income thereby removing the fear complex of uncertainty and irregularity of income so that he can concentrate his attention on improvement in the quality and his workmanship it is very suitable for pioneering work okay there are certain advantages of time based okay method or time rate method see uh, greater care and attention of quality and workmanship can be ensured due to this then 
workers knows exactly the amount whichever he will be getting by working okay a sense of security or income regular and stable then conductive to harmony and better labor management relationship see in time rate method what is usually done in time rate method or it ensures that okay your employees are satisfied okay even it is quite clear in their minds that they will be getting so and so amount so okay whenever it comes to labor management relations it will be always sound relations okay so also it will be helpful for your organization because you are paying a fixed amount right so you can what you can do is yes you can have provision for such type of salaries and wages it will be helpful for you okay there are certain disadvantages also of time rate basis okay see there is no close control over labor cost because of unequal output by workers okay in the absence of positive correlation between pay and output wage cost determination is very difficult and no plan no control over unit labor cost this is the greatest weakness of time wage system okay in time wage system by itself offers no incentive for employees to put forth their best efforts because the incentives to produce more effort and reward have no direct positive correlation hence employee merit rating and incentive wage plans have to be adopted okay time wage system is inequitable all are paid equally irrespective of ability skill or experience there is no encouragement for better performance on the other hand merit is discounted and if inefficiency is added premium okay all receive the same salary it is an unsound basis of wage payment actually a worker loses initiative ambitious workers receive no monetary reward for their talents hence it is unscientific and arbitrary it demands inadequate intensive and strict supervision over workers this will increase managerial cost if the boss is absent the employees just while away the time in gossiping okay see what is time wage uh, method or time rate method in time rate method what is done yes remuneration is directly linked with the time spent or devoted by an employee on the job okay see um for a specified hours okay for example 5 hours 6 hours 7 hours this person is supposed to work into the organization and many of the time what happens okay yes there are some honest employees okay who do work for that period okay without any supervision they do work okay but there are some people in the absence of supervisors okay they don't work okay just what they will be doing is they will be gossiping yes they will be spending time and after the working hours get over they will go home okay so uh, these are the some of the disadvantages well there is some advantages also okay what are the advantages yes a sense of security will there uh, always be there in the minds of the employees okay uh, for example okay um, if one day they are not able to produce um, good amount of um, products okay still there will be assurance that they will be paid with the salary okay so and so amount they will be getting at the end of the month okay so such type of advantages we do find for this time rate method as well as there are certain disadvantages for this method okay time rate means based on the time based on the working time based on the days hours is it weeks okay and month okay based on all these factors such type of a uh, fixed amount is payable to the employees as a remuneration okay the other part is piece rate method okay what is piece rate method it is a method of compensation in which remuneration is paid on the basis of units or pieces produced by an employee see whenever we consider piece rate method what is piece rate method what is done into piece rate method see 
piece rate method ensures your production okay means how many pieces how many products or how many units you have produced okay based on that units itself the remuneration will be provided to you by your organization okay means for example if someone for, from your employees okay if one of your employees they are skilled okay they might produce more as they are skilled laborers okay what about unskilled or semi skilled people they will produce less okay based on the production if you pay the wages it will be yes it will be benefited for your organization because you ensure productivity right but somewhere your employees will be hurted or affected okay this can happen so uh, let's see what are the advantages of piece wage system yes see it is based on the amount of work performed that is on the basis of output of productivity and not on the basis of time spent piece work is one of the simplest and most commonly used incentive plan the standard is expressed in terms of certain sum of money for every unit produced okay the earnings of the employees are directly proportional to his output or his performance okay then it can offer direct connection between effort and reward it ensures adequate planning and close control over labor cost okay so whenever we consider advantages of such type of method yes as there is direct connection between effort and reward okay it ensures production of more units it is simple and easy to understand it is fair in its reward since earnings are directly proportional to the output okay the workers are interested in higher efficiency self supervision saving of time there is no need for elaborate inspection and strict supervision by the managerial group okay a uh, cost accounting and control by management is facilitated as labor cost is constant for output easy estimate of labor cost and control over unit cost of labor okay specialized industry with huge capital investment expects maximum output piece wage system is the best method to maximize output okay see whenever the organization um thinks about the production or production of the units okay at the time piece rate method is suitable for them because okay for completing so and so units your workers they will utilize their 100 percent efforts okay because okay if they produce more you will be paying them more okay in this respect with this motivation itself they give their 100 percent contribution towards the um, production of more units okay it is quite benefiting for your organization but still it has certain disadvantages okay what are the disadvantages let's see okay danger of overwork in temptation to earn more this leads to excessive fatigue ill health and risk of accidents see okay for completing the target for completing the uh, achim uh, is it production of more and more units what happens usually yes what happens usually the employees they might not care about their health is it it will result into illness and also okay in haste whenever they are doing the production activity it can result into accidents into the organization okay if the quality is given top preference it is ineffective method okay because see uh, for completing the unit target okay many of the time what these people do in haste they do completion of the production right okay which in turn affects the product's quality okay in the absence of mutual confidence fixation of piece wage rate is 
very difficult okay under peace wage system a lot of supervision is required to maintain the quality and standard okay workers are tempted to ignore quality okay to gain more to earn more amount okay what this people may do yes this people may ignore the quality of the product okay so whenever we consider both of this method time rate method it is suitable for the employees because though they work for long period or even if they don't work for long period still a fixed amount they will be getting at the end of the month is it or end of the duration whichever they have yes uh, confirmed with the organization then piece rate method piece rate method means the units which the employees they do yes the employees do produce okay based on that pieces or the production of the units itself their wages decided or uh, whatsoever might be their performance based on that performance itself the organization will be paying them so these are the two uh, incentive plans okay in which uh, in time rate method yes the employees are benefited and in piece rate method the organization is benefited so usually the time rate method is adopted okay because um, many of the time in piece rate method what happens it is the wastage of the production many of the time because to complete the target itself what the employees may do the employees may ignore the quality of the product okay so with this we conclude today's lecture thank you